welcome back. More gorgeous videos to keep you sparkling inside and out. Today I am doing a green eyeshadow tutorial. I'm using airbrush makeup and glitter. Right now I'm just cleaning my gun a little bit. Um, I'm using the Personal Go Rechargeable. It's uh, available through Dynair. I'll put links down below so you can check those out if you're interested in their equipment. I'm doing a base coat with a lighter foundation I use as my highlight, the Soft Glow 117. And I always put like a lighter base when I put a bright colored eyeshadow on me. It just grabs it really well and on anyone really. So I will also list all the colors that I'm using. Uh, that was Apple Teeny. It's a very shiny uh, opalescent airbrush color by Dynair. Um, I'm using two to four drops. I'm kind of gauging it. I'm used to using it as a base coat and I'm using my stencil. I love my stencil. And that just helps so it doesn't go everywhere because it's such a bright sparkly color. Now I'm doing both eyes and I'm just like you really have to be careful with the personal go rechargeable one because it doesn't have those speed dials so sometimes I spray a little heavy sometimes I don't and I, you always have to be aware of that uh, but I do love that machine uh, versus all the other ones I just find it easy to use I like that it's rechargeable so now I'm going to add in another wa color wasabi, and it's a bit of a more muted color. I'm going to put that on the ends. I want my eyes to be bright green, but I want them to be um, a little bit muted, not too gaudy. A couple drops, and of course I'm using my little glass container where I do my excess spray. So I'm going in and I'm just doing the corners, and I'm kind of shaping almost a triangle going a little bit into my crease, just creating some definition and some depth. And my gun was a little clogged, so I take a Q-tip, I always pull back the lever so the needle doesn't touch it, and I clean out just the center. For me, that works, especially when I use those heavier colors like opalescence, they may clog the gun a little bit. And once again, I'm just going in there and adding some depth with a more muted matte color. It's a matte green, quite pretty. And I love angling it up. I love the stencil for that. And then we're going to go in and I'm just going to build it slowly. It's very easy to put too much and very easy to overspray and then it gets wet. If it does get wet, which I did happen to do in this video, I just let it dry. I clean out my gun and then I blow it on my eyes like I'm doing now. And it's just blowing clean air. So, but be sure you clean that gun and test it. Always spray on a surface before you spray it on you just in case it's not completely clean. And once again I'm shaking those uh, bottles really well. I'm listening for that little uh, bell or stone inside so I can hear it shake just like any other spray paint if you've ever painted. Now I'm going in with a third green color um, and once again I'll list all those colors. It is called Earthen. It's another matte green, kind of a mossy color, a little bit more brown tone. Uh, the second color I had used was wasabi, and that was a little bit of a deeper green, and the first color was apple teeny. So once again, just blowing a little air to dry those eyes out. Sometimes I just press on the pedal a little bit too hard. It's just how I am and how I work, but I always get what I want in the end. So if you're stressed about using your equipment, don't be. Just keep going. And then now I'm adding in a little bit of yellow in the crease and, the, and almost like a highlight. It's called Lemon Cream, and it's another matte color. So I love to combine matte with shimmer. Um, I just think it gives it a real pretty look. And I'm flipping my stencil this time, and I'm just going kind of pulling it down a little bit lower on the lid and spraying down and gently doing that just a little bit at a time. I love the little hint of yellow. I think it brightens it. And I love fun, contrasty colors. You may not. You can experiment. You might want to use brown. I mean, this is whatever you want to do. It's just play. And between every color, I clean my gun. Um, I just don't want to take the chance of the mixing. And once again, putting a little bit of air, just keeping it dry because I'm using so many colors. Now I'm going to be using the jet black and I'm going to be using the um, darker brown. So I'm going to put the darker brown on the edges. Instead of putting a ton of black, I want to keep it kind of a light bright look but at the same time give it some depth and definition. So I'm using the brown for that. I'm going in and I'm winging it out and kind of just like adding it on the edge there. So it warms it up but at the same time also darkens those edges and brings more focus into the eye. And I'm kind of balancing matte, light, or glitter, light, dark. I'm doing a little bit around the bottom of the eye, like super light, just so I have a little uh, definition. I don't want a heavy black eye. 
but I am going to use the black to create almost a little bit liner. I use it to create my wing liner at the ends of my eyes, and I love doing that. And then what, after that, I usually take a liquid liner, um, depending on the look. For this one, I want it to be really crisp and sharp, so I took a liquid liner and just did the inner corners. But I'll show you all of that. So once again, shaking those colors really well so you get the full effect of them. And I really uh, use maybe one to two drops for everything. You don't need much. So the airbrush makeup goes a long way and I love that. So as you can see, that really created that definition on the eye. And then that way I don't have to draw up and waste time trying to do a perfect cat eye, which I can't be bothered to do. So um, we go in again and I'm just gonna clean that gun really well, especially when you have a black color. You don't want it, um, you really don't want any of that excess in there. And then we're gonna keep shaking. All right, so now I'm going to go in with the Apple Teeny again, the very first color I use. I'm just going to do a light pop on the center of the lid to brighten it, make sure nothing got on it, and just a slight pop, just right in the middle. And as you can see, that brightened it, which brings more light into the eye. So I love doing that with multiple colors and making sure it's fresh. And there we go, I'm using my L'Oreal Noir Black Liner. I love this liner. It's got a long tip and I always pull the eye out a little bit. It doesn't matter young or old. People think, oh, when you're older, your eyes are wrinkled. They are, but even if you're, it doesn't matter what age you are, you need to get a nice clean line. Sometimes just pulling that eye out on the corner very gently will help you get that crisp line. And now I'm going in with my MAC pigment. Um, I'll also list the name of that color too. It's a very bright green. And I'm just gonna put it I'm using Q-tip because I have a little bit of a line crease. I'm just tapping it into my lid very gently. It helps fill in that little crease just because I was spraying a little too heavy, but also just to um, add a little dimension. And I mean, I'm also gonna use a brush, but it's, you know, use whatever you have. It's, it's, uh, it's all about creativity and creating what you want. And so I had a Q-tip on hand and then I went in with a soft round brush and I just tapped it a little bit. And I'll show you in just a second. And as you can see, the eyes are slowly building. You can see that depth from light to dark. And there we go. We go in and just do a soft round brush, just in the crease, just to pat everything in. But I'm not done yet. Uh, today, it's all about the green. So I'm using all my green fun stuff and just freshening up that liner. And as you can see, I just did the top. Oh, and I got these gorgeous lashes from eBay. Uh, gorgeous fine. It was only maybe like 250 for these mink lashes, so that was interesting. So I wanted to try them out. They're super big, super long, super gorgeous if you love that long, lush, full look. And I will put the link below if you're interested in those lashes and you want to check it out. And I'll also put a link for all the Dynair makeup and all the other products I've used if that interests you. And I didn't like how it was a little awkward getting it off the plastic, but once again, I pulled from the middle. I was going to cut them and then I decided not to. I wanted to, to just have them large and big. And I'm using my duo glue and I love this glue because it dries clear and it just takes a few seconds. I'm going to paint it on very gently. I actually don't use very much glue at all, as you can see. Do a nice line and then I start from the middle, place it and just press those corners in very gently. There we go. Boom, boom. You can see the difference. It really adds dimension. This is very much a glamorous green eye. So um, if you're into that, um, this is definitely a, a fun video. It was a fun look to create. And I love the layers, the ombre looks of the greens. And it's a warm green. I didn't want it to be too heavy. Just because I have a lot of black hair, I wanted to keep it kind of bright and fun. And we've got that second lash on. And then I just kind of squeeze my fake to my reel and go in with some mascara, freshen up that eyeliner, just right in the corners. I love a perfect line. If you're a makeup enthusiast, you probably do too. And I'm just catching any little tiny gaps I might have missed. And as you can see, it's really defined the eye. And we've got a very slight little airbrush of brown on the bottom, which just kind of brings out our eye, but it's not heavy. And then I'll go in with some mascara and just uh, get rid of any powder on my real lash. And I am taking a little bit of the pigment powder and softly, super softly, just brushing it down below. Um, I love to do different makeup looks where I do something unusual or just kind of add a little color everywhere. And there we go. I'm using L'Oreal Carbon Black. It's a... Uh, very good mascara I seem to like. Um, if you have a mascara you love, let me know. 
And that just seals the fake to the real and kind of opens up the eye. And you can see more white in the eye. And that's super important when you're doing photography. And as a glamour photographer, uh, it's something I do all the time. So it's a habit. Ah, now I have my favorite lit glitter. And I wanted to use this just to see what I could do with it. It comes with a liquid solution. It's called a glitter base, and you mix the two together, and it allows the glitter to sit and set so it isn't all over the face and all over you. And so what I decided to do is take that deep green glitter, and it's called Hulk, and I mixed the two together, and I took a thin angled brush. Um, I believe it's a 210 brush by MAC, and I painted over top the black line. And that gave me a dark green sparkle line. So I like that. It added dimension. Um, it, it gave it a little pop, something different. And it suited this kind of glamorous green eye look. So I hope you like it. I'm doing my best in the video to show you what it looks like. So I'll be coming in closer. And I've also got a photo at the end of it. And then I'm just making sure I'm just tapping it in and also just kind of stretching it across. But really tapping it in, the, the glitter is so um, liquid and wet with the solution that it comes with that I did not get fall off anywhere. And that's great because the fall off is the worst, as you know. So there we go. It worked. I got a nice dark green glitter line. Super easy to do. And this whole look was really easy. But I hope you like this video. Please remember to like, share, and join me on my other social media channels. I hope you enjoyed it. And here's the final look. A little close up so you can see things closer. Thank you. Join me again.